trying to will myself to be a person, um, and it's not working too well. Um, but I just had my last class for the whole year, for the whole semester, so I'm really excited um, that it's over with, but at the same time, um, you know, it's a little sad. I, I like school, so um, seeing it go by is sad. Anyways, um, I've talked about this particular class that I had today um, before, uh, my Africans in America class, which talks about um, African immigrants and kind of um, broader topics that we touch on is immigrants and what does it mean to be an American. And I kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit is because I think there are a lot of boss of uh, nationalities and ethnicities within our fandom. So many different people watch our blogs that it's hard to remember how far um, our reach goes sometimes. And it's even more interesting when um, I know people from other countries who are watching American television shows or the fact that I watch television shows that are um, from different countries as well. And it's interesting to kind of see um, what kind of references people get and what they don't. So I know a lot of times when I'm watching like Doctor Who, I'm sure there's some references that go completely over my head that I don't understand because I'm not ethnically British. But um, I was watching a Supernatural episode, the one with Felicia Day. And if you haven't seen an episode of Supernatural, or if you just, you know, just go watch this one. It's the girl with the Dungeons and Dragons tattoo. And Felicia Day is adorable, and it's just a really great episode. And it's freaking, it's like the nerdiest thing I've ever seen in my life. You'll love it, even if you don't really like Supernatural, and you don't have to watch it ever again, but just watch this episode. But there's a part of it, they make a reference to Ronald Reagan's Morning in America ad. And if you don't know what that is, it's an ad, uh, it's a political campaign ad that Ronald Reagan put out um, when he was running for office in the 80s. And I was just wondering, like, how many people would get that if they're watching it? Of course, I got it because I've taken history classes about American history and American culture. But for those who don't know what that is, would they get it? But I guess what I'm coming down to it is um, how much do these ethnic references and cultural references, how much do these get in the way of bringing people together in terms of television shows and fandoms? Um, I would say probably overall it's not a problem. I mean, Harry Potter is, you know, internationally raved and it's about, you know, boarding schools in Britain and magic. But like, are there other certain shows or books or um, like, I don't know, television shows in general that you just, you can't really understand because you don't get the culture that surrounds it? It's just interesting to see how we define ourselves and whether or not that re like comes across in how we read things and how we read or watch television, or see movies, or interpret books. So, if you guys are have any thoughts on that, that'd be awesome. CISP is a thing, apparently. Um, we were hoping it wasn't going to be, but it is. So, let's try and get that off Congress's radar. What else? Uh, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Peace!